She stopped to listen more closely to what they were saying. Hello, fantastic peeps! My name is Rachel, and I hope that you've had a great day so far. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today as we count down to Christmas together. We are really entering day 11 of our series, so for those who have stuck with me for 10 days already, I want to say thank you so much for your support and love. Without further ado, let's go into day 11 of our Disney Storybook Collection Advent Calendar series. Our Advent Calendar is open up and we're gonna find day 11. Can you guys guess what is today's story about? Let's find out right now. And it's a very cute Wally -E featuring Wally -E and also Eve. This is actually my favorite, favorite, favorite characters and also movie because it really focuses on the animation and also the sound design um, of this movie because there's not much talking as the robots don't talk. <laughs> Let's look at the description. When Wally -E and Eve notice that once a year, the humans start acting very oddly, they decide to copy their festive behavior. From hanging lights to buying presents, the robots soon learn the joys of Christmas. Interesting. Oh yeah, and the title is A Gift for Wally. -E. We didn't mention that just now. But let's get right into the story. Wally -E and Eve picked over the top of a pile of rubbish. The humans were acting very strangely. What were they up to now? They saw two men stringing small colored lights along a rusty iron fence. Another set up a plastic statue of a white bearded man in a red suit. That must be Santa Claus, right here. And a woman propped up a fake silver tree and decorated it with shiny red and green glass balls. Readers of all, the captain from the spaceship Axiom was singing in a loud, joyful voice. Wally -E and Eve snuck closer to where the humans were working. They called their friend Bots over. While all the robots watched curiously, the humans hung a green circle with small red dots on the storefront. More of the humans started singing. Some of the robots had seen behavior like this before when they were living on the Axiom. It seemed to happen every 12 months. They had never been able to figure out why. Wally -E looked closely at the humans. He tried to figure out what made this so different. Then, he put his metal finger on it. The humans looked happy. Most of the time on the Axiom, they looked tired and bored, but there was something about what they were doing right now here on Earth that made them very happy. If it made the humans so happy, Wally -E thought that maybe it will make the robots happy too. For hours, the robots studied the humans. They start what they had seen in their computer brains. Next, they set out to copy the humans. Some of the bots picked up rubbish that humans had used. Bits of tinsel, fake holy, and scraps of brightly colored paper. The light bots collected hundreds of string lights and dragged Wall Yi's trailer with them. When the electricity was turned on, the lights shined so brightly they looked like a supernova. Look at them covering their eyes. Mo hung up old socks on the other wall. He had no idea why anyone would want to put socks on the wall. But if the humans were doing it, so would he. Vacuum sucked up boxes and boxes of packing peanuts, but he also vacuumed up a nose full of dust. Achoo! He sneezed. The foam floated down coating the floor like a blanket of snow. <laughs> Look at Mo being so happy. And this is Vacuum. Yes, his name is pronounced as Vacuum. <laughs> Wally -E and Eve roamed the grounds outside the trailer, looking for more things to use. Wally -E went one way and Eve the other. 
Eve picked up a piece of shiny metal and some scraps of wrapping paper. She stored them inside her chest cavity. Suddenly, she heard two humans talking. One of them was the captain. I just love Christmas, don't you? The other human said. The lights, decorations, the cookies, the presents. Christmas is my favorite time of year. Christmas! What a lovely word! Eve wrote it around in her mind. It sparked all her circuits. Was this the name for what the humans were doing? She stopped to listen more closely to what they were saying. Yes, the captain said slowly. But don't forget, Christmas isn't about things. It's about giving, not just receiving presents and about showing your friends and family that you care. That's really true. The captain's word hummed inside Eve. Robots didn't have family, but they did have friends. And she had one friend who meant more to her than any other. Wall E. He had come to save her when she was on the ship and given her his spare parts. Wally had cared for her and watched over her. Eve wanted to show Wally that she appreciated him, but what kind of present would do that? She roamed far and wide, she searched and searched. She found many pieces of rubbish, but none of them were quite right for her special friend. Then, far from Wally's trailer, her gaze locked on to a perfect present. Two days later, it was Christmas Eve. The bots celebrated just like the humans. They beat out the words to songs they had heard. They didn't always understand the human words, so they made up some of their own. While all the bots were celebrating, Eve held out a present to Wally. It was wrapped in pretty patterned paper. Eva? he asked. Eve nodded. Wally admired how the shiny paper shimmered in the colored lights. He was so busy looking at the present that he almost missed Eve motioning to him. Open it, she signaled. This is the scene right here. So cute. Wally carefully unwrapped the gift. In his hands, Wally held a miniature Christmas tree. The longer version of Eve's name was Extraterrestrial Vegetation Evaluator. She had been trained to find plants and was drawn to this little tree. She knew that Wally, with his kind way and a big heart, would take care of it better than anyone. Wally and Eve went outside together, dug a hole in the earth and planted the Christmas tree. Wally placed a shiny silver star on top. It twinkled brightly and reflected the light from the real star shining in the night sky. Eve reached out her hand and Wally took it. Eva, he said. Now, Wally understood why humans like Christmas so much. The end. This is such a sweet story, especially from these two favorite characters of mine. What do you guys think of the story? Do you like it? And did you learn anything from it? I definitely learned something from the captain. He said that Christmas is not about presents, but it's about loving and caring for your loved ones. Always remember that. With that guys, please stay safe and healthy. Keep your smile up and your head high and have a magical and fantastic day ahead. Bye for now and see you tomorrow.